What's going on, everybody? What's going on, everybody? How, how's everybody doing over here? Hey, we, we, man, it's been a bizarre day today. We've been a bizarre day. But we are here. The Freeman Report. Yep. Here you go. Can you see me? All right. So we're just, we kind of set this up impromptu because we're back here at home base. Um, I think it, just talking about the stuff that went on at the rally and the craziness of the lunatic, lunatic left. Um, and I'm just, I just kind of wanted to have Mo and, uh, Daniel here, Daniel Durst, you might know him as Durst the worst, um, talk about what, what happened. So Mo, just tell us, uh, just tell us some stories about what you saw in the crowd. Cause it was crazy, man. It was crazy. Oh, we not even, not even 20 minutes that we walk. Remember we said we was going to walk to the Capitol, right? Not even 20 minutes. And it was crazy. Uh, not even 20 minutes walking over there. Like oh oh let's let's stay together. I said you know what no forget this. I'm gonna walk over there by them liberals. Whatever. I, don't, I ain't got nothing to hide. So I walked over there. I said this. I ain't for that tagging as them. Let them try to tag as me. I ain't gonna do that. And so I walk over there and they were just like, oh, hey hey uh, oh uh, oh uh, 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 uh. look they even had me. I ain't gonna lie. I was like, I'm jamming a little bit too. Hey, hey, I like to see. Come on now, I can't get that dang song out my head. Uh, hey, uh, hey, for real. It, 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 it really does. It's too infectious. For like, 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 hey, hey, I swear, that's that. that, that I can't get that. Uh, uh, that, that chant out of my head. No, Trump. Get, no get, KKK, get, no fascist USA. Oh, we gotta, we gotta like make something like that. That's gotta be designed in Soros uh, Labs or something for infectiousness. That is fascism right there. Yeah. That's pure narcissism right there. Yeah. Narcissistic. I mean, that's that's how they are, and they, they kept they was they was assaulting me. Boom, boom. Just bumping, Culkin. boom! Just bumping, like, yeah. like what? Don't. Why are you touching me? Why are you touch? Uh, mm, 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 mm. I'm looking like this here. Who else? Said, you know what? They trying to set me up. Yeah. Do you know who the? Do you know who that guy with the Macaulay Culkin uh, sweater was? That was getting touchy and grabby and pushy with people. Oh, that, I think that was Brad. Was it Brad Geyer? Brad Geyer. I'm Geyser. Sorry, I'm sorry if uh, I'm sorry if I mispronounced Brad Geyer. Get, I don't know, Geyer, Geyer, How about geyser? this? How about this? It's a geyser of lies. Yeah, there you go. Geyser, geyser of lies. lies. I mean, it's just, it's just, you're a Nazi, you're a fascist. I try to go, I go through oh. both sides trying to get info on how anybody related to this event is a fascist. They can't give it to me. And they swarm, they'll swarm you. They'll tell people that you're talking to not yes. to converse with you. I mean, I don't know what they say. They, you know what I mean? You've seen this maneuver. They'll walk up and they'll pull the person that you're talking to aside and whisper. whisper some shit. Right. And you, you're only left to assume that they're calling you a bunch of names, like Nazi, fascist, racist, don't talk. You, they're reinforcing the programming. Right. Like, okay, here's, here's my thoughts about it. What they do is they, they call the everything they call framing. Have you ever heard of that? Sure. Just framing and the argument. Yeah, like pretty much framing the argument. Well, they call it framing. And somehow it's like that's how white supremacists get in your head. It's framing. No, it's called framing an argument. It's the basic tactic of, like, making your argument's case. Um, and since they don't have a case for their argument, they don't have any way to frame it. So for them, it's like, oh, these white supremacists always use this. Right. And Durst brought up the, the best point where sir, sir, sooner or later, um, when we say that's not an argument, they're going to try to um, relate to that to, to white supremacy. Yeah, yeah right. Like. Since, since someone like Stefan Molyneux, for instance, popularized the phrase, not an argument, and he gets accused of various things, they're eventually, I, I predict, it, it wouldn't surprise me if they eventually start trying to argue that not an argument is now a white supremacist slogan. You know what I mean? Like when, when you try to tell a leftist who does not bring any sort of argumentation to the table, hey, not an argument, they're going to try to nail you with some sort of newfangled, yeah. just, just like milk was white supremacy, just like Pepe's white supremacy um trump hats white supremacy being white and male is white supremacy just all of it you yeah. know so uh, Mo, what didn't you didn't you talk to some of them did you did you have any good interactions with any of them yes uh it, 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 was, it was funny right this one uh antique she was kind of heavy set you know what i'm saying and, you know she was you know she, she walked up she said hi she's like hey hey i said do you hate me 
no, I don't hate you. So you don't hate me? So you hate me? Come here, give me a hug. So you don't hate me. She, she walked and gave me a hug right away. It was a positive vibe right there. And I said that she was, she was looking like this here. So you don't hate me. So you, why are you stand up? This is for human rights. Like, you know what? If that's how you feel, go ahead and stand up. You know, I just want education brought. As you know what? That's how you feel. That's how you feel. I said, I like you already. You know what I'm saying? What's your name? Don't what? I won't say your name. I'm just going to call you Antifa, okay? Yes, yeah, let's say Antifa. <laughs> and then that's what I did right there. I had fun with it. Then I see about three minutes later. Hey, 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 hey. I like said, Oh, come here. You need another hug, girl? All right. I see you. Right. And I walked, you know what I'm saying? That was a positive vibe. Yeah, it was there, positive. Was, there, there was walk up there, and you know what I'm saying? If any conservative ever come to me and said, This is you hugged an Antifa, shut up. That means you ain't conservative. That means you don't have Christian values because that was Christian values right there. You know, we got to show that we better than them. And all that fighting and, you know, all that, you know what I'm saying? Yes, if they hit me, I'm knocking their asses out. <laughs> but, uh, excuse my language over here. No, that's all right. But, uh, yeah, that's the, but, but it's, it was like, if, if they do that, but, but that, if they, if they bump me, they bump me. I still just kind of look like, no, nah, they bump me. Mm -hmm. They try and play a little game. I know how they, I know how to, the, the left do. So, they're going to probably come to things so like you allow to bump somebody. You allow yeah. to bump. So they're going to throw that. And he didn't hit. It was a bump. See, I know that. It's, it's the game that people play at work. Yeah. The same type of game, the yeah. bump thing. Yeah. yeah. You know, so we, we got to learn to play that game, too. Oh, I'm telling too much. They probably assassinate me for that. But <laughs> well, that's what it is. Like, uh, like they use, and it's it's sort of, it's like Thoreau's, like, anti, like, uh, nonviolent protest thing flipped on its head. Using nonviolence to get the violent reaction that you want so you can portray uh, those people that are against you the way you want. Um, all these things, like you look at us, we are having fun. We are laughing. All this shit that happened, we're not taking it seriously. They are. They do not want to have discourse. They don't want to talk to us. They want to say, hey, hey, ho, ho, ba da da ba da ba do hey, hey. You know, and they don't want to engage in discourse. And you, you can see Durst was talking about it. They reprogram them. Oh, oh, okay, they're having a discussion with somebody. We can't make, let them make us look bad. They can't expose the fact that we don't have an argument. Let me pull them aside. And who knows, maybe they're freaking spouting their um, hypnosis phrase. So they snap back into, oh, yeah. snap back into, uh, into their sorrows planning and just because these guys at the bottom don't get the soros checks doesn't mean that they don't know the olinsky tactics these guys in the center they know olinsky's tactics they know what world they're trying to push for yeah. and that is a world in which they are some kind of low-level dictators and that all these uh very angry kids that just want a place to belong um go to and they get misled well you know what all those socialist kids that are out there that aren't very sure about what's going on with socialism and why this stuff happens and why it was so violent. I'm not here to hurt anybody. Mo's not here to hurt anybody. Dur Daniel Durst isn't here to hurt anybody. None of us are here to hurt you. We will talk to you one-on-one -on -one without your handlers, without the organizers in the, in the orange vest telling you, don't talk to them. They will frame. They will frame their argument. Framing an argument, if you look at Western civilization and stuff, that is how arguments are formed. If you look at Plato, if you look at Aristotle, all these things, this is how or arguments are naturally, naturally formed. That's what we want to do. We want to educate. We want to help people. Um, and we are not anti-immigrant. We are pro-sovereignty. Sovereignty is the right of every person. Just like those nations which were invaded by America that didn't deserve it, that I am also against. And we should be able to let those people have their country without us marching in there. And, and taking over their country, but we also need to have our sovereign borders, be able to protect ourselves, or else there won't be an America to be that better world or that better nation that people can legally apply to come here to. Um, and I think mostly those handlers, those chief honchos of the Antifa and stuff that are reinforcing the brainwashing are, are part of the DNC, part of the uh, whole system where they want to make sure that they continue to have a voter base. And the only way they can have a voter base now, as people are waking up to the counterculture, which is us, um, is to import votes from another country and say, oh, since we imported you, since we got you guys here, you have to vote Democrat. That's true, yeah. Let me just say one thing. I think one of the main uh, contributing factors to why these people are so ideologically possessed and difficult to get across to 
is uh, it, like you were saying, the brainwashing. And I think a lot of that comes from groups like the Southern Poverty Law Center and the ADL and stuff like the that. The ACLU was there too. An AD, right. It was an ACLU of uh, human rights observer. I mean, I just, I just remember talking to a particular guy with a pro SPLC sign and this, this was just emblematic of the entire problem. I go up to him and I'm like, Hey, you know, that SPLC group, they're kind of settling on a court for millions of dollars with the Majid Nawaz case, right. for instance, they defamed him as an anti-Muslim extremist when he is a Muslim himself. He is a progressive Muslim reformer. The SPLC lies and defames him, slanders him as an anti-Muslim extremist settles out of court for millions of dollars. I try to tell this to the guy holding the sign and his response was, oh, well, they must be doing something right then. And at, this was, again, as his handlers are coming around trying to tell him not to talk to me and, yeah. and he's, you know, telling them that I'm a racist or a fascist, et cetera. When really I was just trying to let them, let him know like, hey, you might be getting led astray. These people that are telling you that your town is being besieged by Nazis, uh, you know. So, so, so I think a lot of these groups that have been, um, settling on a court because I mean, they keep lying about people. I think that's part of the misinformation train that yeah. we're dealing with. Like this because low it doesn't have to be true because if they have the media, all they have to do is have the media publish that this court case is going on. And if as, as they settle out of court, that's not being played up. That's not being put in mainstream news. CNN, that's you. Ding dong. Wake up. Yeah, you'll only see it. If you watch like Dave Rubin, you'll find out about it. But other yeah. than that, you won't ever hear about it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Wake up. When everybody gonna wake up, yo? If you, if you don't wake up, man. We're uh, having fun though. Yeah, yeah. We we are having fun. You know, you know, having fun doing this, and and I look like, and from from what I experienced today here, from myself, what I experienced here today up in Madison, Wisconsin, is what I've been watching on. Um, Will Johnson channel like was going on in Berkeley, California, Portland, the same thing. And ooh, we this kind of this kind of uh some more stuff over here that I that I see that I that in Portland. It's it's getting real, yo. It's sanctuary, sanctuary we see just, Madison, yeah. Madison. I, I mean, look at this, and they they all like the they were literally walking like this here. Oh, hey, uh, hey, uh, eh, 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 eh. oh, the whole time they just in this little rocket mode and in the comfort zone and they talking like, hey, hey, don't try to shake your hand. Hey, hey, get away, get away. Oh, oh. I said, do you love me? Ah, hey, hey, hey. I'm like, dang it. Hey, 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 hey. This it's the mob mentality. Once oh. people get together, it's harder to get through to them because that's why they need people to be together. Because we saw uh, some Antifa going to their house uh, earlier, and we're not going to dox them. We're not going to attack them. We're not going to get them fired from their jobs because that's not what we do because we're freedom-loving Americans. We're individualists. We're Lockean liberals, not collectivists, uh, and we're not uh, Nazis as they are. And they don't see it. They just don't see it um, because they've been convinced of this lie of Hitler was a Marxist up until he was a Nazi. Your ideology doesn't go away. The core ideology of Nazism reads like a Bernie Sanders speech. The core ideology of uh, Mussolini's fascism, everything in the state, nothing without the state, everything for the state is pure collectivist rhetoric. It comes from Rousseau's collective will of the people. The collective will of the people is exercised by the state. So it takes that collectivist Marxist philosophy and gives it a binder, like you said, it's hard because their emotions are binded, are bound to their ideology and their political rhetoric. That, that's how they get it. It's, it's a form of hypnosis. It's a form of uh, brainwashing that it's bound to their, uh, bound to their, uh, their feelings. And men and women get it. And it's like, especially when you got a couple that's a social, I, for some reason, when I see couples, like men and women that are together that are both social justice warriors, it's even harder because it's like, not just are their emotions tied to their politics, but their relationship is tied yeah. to it. It's based on it. We are social justice warriors and we are fighting for freedom. freedom. For what? From what? You are not oppressed. You are white. You are privileged. You are liberal. And you oh. need to stop whining. Oh. Mo I grew up, uh, well, we grew, I grew up in West Dallas in this little enclave that was like a little, it was like a little ghetto, really. Yeah. And I remember uh, when I was playing, we'd have fucking crack dealers trying to sell us swords and shit. Or no, crack heads trying to sell us swords so he could get crack. Um, uh -huh. 
uh, all sorts of crazy shit. Like white. I was like five years old getting in a knife yeah. fight with another kid. <laughs> and that's, a, that's, I mean, that's rough living. But I grew up from that and I succeeded. Mo, you, you came from worse off and you grew up and you're succeeding. You grew oh, up from, you yes. grew up from uh, Chicago. Yeah. And, and uh, I mean, the, are you oppressed? Oh man, I grew up on the north side of Chicago. And uh, <laughs> the funny thing about it, the way I grew up, I didn't grow up in an all-black neighborhood. I grew up in a very diverse, you know, all me parts Chicago, very diverse, but we were like the most gangbangers people out there. We were out there doing some cutthroat stuff in out there. And, you know, yes, I hung in black communities. I, <laughs> I learned a lot of stuff. And uh, no, no, I'm not oppressed, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, I lived in a generation because that we, we, at least we had heart back then. At least when we were down there, sh shoot, I'll be honest, at least we was down there shooting at someone, we would not shoot a little baby, seven-year-old. You go right on target. These young kids are just loose. That's why Chicago murder have, have been, man, been brutal. And us, us at the people, we have to be the, which we are the last one standing, but we have to be the last one standing. We have to go ahead and stand up and, uh, and, and, and plant a seed, plant a seed to people. And because we, we are, we, we, we are that, um, we are the last hope. Yeah. We are the last hope. What and, is it saying, Sure, It says atheism is unstoppable. Yep. You're, no, but are you an atheist? I happen to be a non-believer, yes. Is this, is this put are the you a, atheist in hot seat time? And you're, a, and you're a Christian. Christian, yeah, I believe in Jesus Christ. And, I, and I'm a Christian. We're not fighting. We're, We're not, not arguing. We're not hateful. We have a uh, civil discourse. Shout out to AIU, Devin, though. Devin Trace. I'm offended. You're an atheist. You're, <laughs> like, you're offended. I'm triggered. And so, but that's the thing. That's the thing that's great about our side is we can get together and you don't have to be ideologically conforming. Your diversity, if, you're, if you are not mentally and intellectually diverse as well as uh, racially, religiously, yeah. and otherwise, then you are not diverse and you are part of the problem. True diversity mm -hmm. comes with intellectual diversity as well as uh, social and racial and religious and gender whatever uh diversity it's part of all of it they can't have i mean they can't have it because i mean just an, all these conversations are coming back to my brain that i had today like one guy was saying that ben shapiro uh incited doxing of people he straight up said ben shapiro did this i've seen no evidence of him doing that are they that's that's the phrasing they'll use incitement when they don't even i've never met a liberal who understands what the word incitement means yeah. Like incitement to them is your guys' very mm -hmm. presence in the city. Yeah. That's incitement yeah. of violence, according to them. Well, and that's why speech can yep. be violence, because your right. very speech is even though you're not saying go do this, right. that's you what are incitement giving, is. You're giving a dog whistle, which is another term for we don't have an argument, so we'll just say that you saying that is a dog whistle. Right. <laughs> for for uh supremacists and Nazis and stuff to come after you. They're scared of change, really, if you think about it. They are like Puritans. They uh, regulate speech. You cannot say anything about genders. You cannot use the wrong pronouns. You cannot say certain things about women. They completely strangle comedy. Oh, it's just like the Puritans. You think about it, look at the Kavanaugh trial. That was like the Salem Witch trial. Try to ask, uh, would, they, would they apologize? I kept asking, are you guys going to apologize to Brett Kavanaugh for basically lying? You, you know, most of the people that uh, accused him came out and admit that they were lying or incorrect. Um, they're being investigated by the FBI. Radio silence from these people that were calling for his head a week before. No apologies, no retractions. Like, exactly. like holy crap, dude. This is, I mean, this is beyond, like, a reasonable conversation. And so when they tell well, you, like, when they oh, why are you afraid of being attacked? Why do you need all these guns? Well, maybe you think the guns are excessive, but for you to tell them that there's no danger of them being attacked um, as a conservative for, for, I mean, not even just physically attacked could mean anything. I mean, like mm -hmm. they're going to, again, phone zap your work, try to get you fired, go around town saying that you're a fascist, you know, isolate him socially because he's a fascist. It's all kinds of fucked up shit. Well, that's, and that's what yeah. Puritans do. So they, so they use Puritanical style tactics. It's like, it's like the worst amalgamation of every bad authoritarian thing that's ever been. So you have like, it's like fascist collectivist <laughs> collectivism. Mm -hmm. I like to call it commu fascism because it's a mixture of both. It's like a in the middle. And then they have this puritanical ideology. You must conform. 
you must conform. Right. You must conform. And their diversity is a joke. It's a it, joke. It, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big joke. And we live in a country that's full of entertainment. Yeah. It's, it's more than reality. It's all entertainment. And what I've seen today, <laughs> look, 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 I'm serious. I'm going to get that out of my head. I ain't gonna lie, I'm traumatized, you know, you know, you know, but no, but in a good way though. But when, but when I saw that, it's like, it, it's not a reality anymore. It's, 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 it's a circus. It's, it's, it's just more of acting. Everything is just acting. If you want to act like someone else, yeah, they want to act like them. It's like, it, it's scary. Yeah. It's, it's scary. And I got, I got, and it's I got like, six it's grandchildren. It's like live role playing. Yeah. It's like their live role playing because they cover their face and yeah. become somebody else. They can do something else. And even yeah. though they know in their hearts that they might be doing wrong, yep. um, they just don't care because all of a sudden they have this separation. Where yep. I'm not me. I'm the mask. I'm this different person. Mm -hmm. And now I can, I can do all this bad things. I mean, they were trying to do bad things. You think if they weren't given a chance that they wouldn't have stormed that stage with women, children, everything that up there that was up there. Right. I have no doubt in my head that they would have trampled everybody. You look at China, and this is not something that, it's not like this is in China's long past. China right now is saying that if you are a sanctioned Christian church, you must have a picture of Xi Jinping and Mao right next to your uh, symbol of worship. And if you don't, and if you say anything against the state, that they will come and uh, they will come and get you. The early rain church, the preacher said that communism uh, and the type of government they have in China is incompatible with Christianity. And right after that, the early rain church was raided by the secret police. Some of them are not returned. Uh, I think the head pastor is not returned. Some of the deacons were released under intense supervision. And that is what we're heading for. Not just that, but they have facial recognition technology. So if these foot soldiers get what they want, this puritanical world, where they think the revolution is going to lead to their freedom, it's not. It's going to lead to the absolute control of the overlords. They are tools for the takeover of free civilization. Mm -hmm. um, and the technology that they have to implement that, once the people disregard these freedoms, because we're holding the line for these freedoms. If we're not here and these people take over, nobody's holding the line. And so all these implementations can come around and everybody will clap and say, oh, that'll make us safer. That'll make us safer. We'll all be safe and we'll all be equal, equal and we'll all be, we'll all be uh, just so happy. And then when it comes, they're all equally slaves to the state. Mm -hmm. I think uh, I think we've gotten everything out that we want to say. Does anybody else want to say anything? Some of the conversations. I'm trying to jog my memory as to like some of the green <laughs> shit they said, but it's it's all gonna come out in the videos we post. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Say, this, so, oh, yeah. Oh, we, yeah, so watch watch Maurice Delk's channel. Yeah. Like, um, yeah. Everybody had their little last their last statement or whatever. Yeah, I, I have never experienced nothing, nothing in my life how. Mm, 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 mm. That's all right, Antifa. That's all right, globalists. We're coming for y'all. I already, I already see what y'all on right now, and yeah, y'all already exposed. Y'all done. Y'all done. So y'all can bring the heat, you know. And um, hey, y'all, y'all check me out uh, on my channel. You know what I'm saying? Thick skin only. I just, I just go ahead and just say some. You know, I get up. I say some crazy stuff at night on my videos. That's yeah. what I do. I be real and like whatever. You know what I'm saying? The hell with you. I don't like you. I cuss you out. That's how. That's why I am. Because we, we gotta learn how to cuss people out. And come right back at them, you know, when they when they try to throw fire at you. Feelings hurt. Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta come like this here. And hey, that that's it, yo. Hey, much love, y'all. Hey, we still connecting. Mm -hmm. We still in here, you dig? Absolutely. Um, I don't know. Name's Durst. Do a YouTube channel called Durst the Worst. I was there filming today. Some of the crazy proceedings. Uh, one particular shot you're gonna find interesting that I put up might be one of the first things I put up is uh, these. Orange vested handlers, um, you said Geyser or whatever. What, what was his name? Was it, was with the Geyser? Home Alone, with the Home Alone sweater. You're gonna see this guy getting all up in my face, trying to do this tactic they do where they corral people out into the street or away from the general proceedings. But this guy was getting, you know, borderline handsy with me, if not, if not gropey, and uh, like it was almost like the dude was like dry humping to try to get people like skeeved out enough to the point where they leave. And I kept pointing it out and none of the zombies gave a shit, even though like in their space, um, if some sort of accusation like that were leveled, 
they would just shut everything down and like ostracize the person. But I'm standing here saying like, oh, this dude is like groping the shit out of me and like trying to physically menace people out of the space and get over. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Not me, no. <laughs> no, did he get a boner? I don't know. I think I think he is a walk and talking boner. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's just unbelievable. Yeah, it's 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 a standard you for. Gotta say some silly shit. It's I'm sorry. One I'm standard sorry. for me and another standard for thee is what they are on. And so yeah. I think I think you're gonna see that uh, shown in the videos that I post and videos that I post. Too. Yeah. I mean, well, at some, at some point, I don't know. These guys are really weird, so I, I wouldn't have been surprised if he would have gotten a stiffy. A stiffy. But, yeah, it's it, these guys are weird. They're out there. Um, I was going to – please make sure you check out my channel, The Freeman Report. Find us on YouTube and make sure it's The Free M-E-N Report. All four words are separate. No to get us. Just so – because – they like to mislead people from my YouTube channel. So please subscribe. Subscribe to Dearest the Worst. Subscribe to Mo and his second channel. What's your second channel's name? Same thing? Mo Reese Delp channel. Mo Reese Delp channel. Um, yeah, I, I want you guys to watch us and stuff. I've seen these fascists in action, and it's like uh, their, their logic, their logos is completely <laughs> effed up. They are completely on uh, pathos instead of logos. Uh, they're totally on uh, emotion. Uh, and that's the thing. Tying politics to emotion is like a, a, a recipe for complete disaster. Um, it was like the uh, mob from Frankenstein when they come with the pitchforks and stuff. It's There's no thought process. If you look at like in the Wild West when they had mobs where like some guy accidentally hit, you know, a townsperson's child with his cart everybody knows it was an accident but everybody gets whipped up into a frenzy and by the time they're done they're all looking at the body hanging and they're saying oh what have we done and that's what antifa is they're all going to look at the end of all this if they get what they want they're going to look around at each other at, at the end of all this and say what have we done so i want to thank everybody for watching my name is thomas leaguer this is uh midday liberty i guess it would be um and this yeah, this is a post rally report. Post psychosis. Post psychosis, yeah. That's... <laughs>